Top 10's Presence 10 Interesting Facts About Our Planet Earth Number 10 There are not 24 hours in a day. It actually takes 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4 seconds for the Earth to rotate once completely on its axis, which astronomers refer to as a sidereal day. Now wait a second, doesn't that mean that the day is 4 minutes shorter than we think it is? You'd think that this time would add, up, day by day, and within a few months, day would be night, and night would be day. Remember that the Earth orbits around the Sun. Every day, the Sun moves compared to the background stars by about 1 degrees, about the size of the Moon in the sky. And so, if you add up that little motion, the Sun that we see, because the Earth is orbiting around it, as well as the rotation on its axis, you get a total of 24 hours. Number 9. We are nothing. This is Earth. This is, where, you live. This, is where, you, leaving, our, solar system. Here's a distance, to scale, between the Earth and the Moon. Not that far, right? Inside the distance, you can fit every planet in our solar system. With about 4,392 kilometers or 2,729 miles to spare. Jupiter is so large, this green smudge is North America. And here's Earth, compared to Saturn. Tats, nothing compared to our sun. Number 8. Earth is not a perfect sphere. One of the most important things to remember about the Earth's shape is that it is only very slightly oblate. The diameter from the North Pole to the South Pole is approximately 12,714 kilometers. This is not a big difference, but it does make the Earth not quite a sphere. Due to its rotation, the Earth has a slightly distorted shape. The rotational momentum tends to force the matter to bunch up in the middle. In the case of the Earth, this middle is the equator. Number 7. Uneven Gravity Scientists are talking about a strange case of missing gravity near the Hudson Bay area of Canada. It's just a tiny deviation from the norm, nothing that anyone could feel. But it's large enough to be detected by NASA's great satellites in space. Gravity relates to how much matter something contains. And Earth's crust is known to be thinner in Canada's Hudson Bay area. Scientists believe the reason was a huge ice sheet that covered Canada and the north, eastern U.S. 20,000 years ago. The weight of the ice pressed on that region, much like a finger pushing on a spongy cake. When the ice melted, it left a huge depression in the Earth. This is the reason why there is lower gravity than other parts of the Earth. Number 6. The Supercontinent. 225 million years ago our planet looked very different. All the continents were joined together in a single supercontinent called Pangaea. As the plates moves, the supercontinent broke up, and new oceans were formed, and the continents drift around the globe. This created the shape of the world that we know today. But the plates never stop moving, this will result in the future continents, once again will get reunited, and will form, a new giant, supercontinent. In around 250, to 300 million years later. Number 5. 
the Earth's twin. There's a theory that when the Earth was developing, there was a smaller twin planet nearby called Terra, which was about the size of Mars. About 5 billion years ago they crashed into Earth, and most of this were absorbed into the Earth's crust, and rest of the planet drifted off and eventually became our moon. Now the reason that so many scientists and astronomers believe this theory is possible, or even true, many late planets that are the size of the our Earth, don't have moon that are so large, also the moon some matter. Number 4. There will be 25 hours in a day. Wish you had another hour in the day to get everything done. Just wait 200 million years, when days here on Earth, will stretch the 25 hours. Why? We like to think of the Earth's rotation as one of the few constants in this world. It's anything but. For hundreds of millions of years, days have been growing longer and longer. The changes are small enough that our circadian clocks can't detect them, but atomic clocks certainly can. According to the National Institute of Standards and Technology, which runs the United States Atomic Clocks, days today are longer than those a century ago by two milliseconds. Add that up over millions of years, and you start to see real changes. Days in the Jurassic period were only 23 hours long. Number 3. Gold Underwater Ocean waters do hold gold, nearly 20 million tons of it. However, if you were hoping to make your fortune mining the sea, consider this. Gold in the ocean is so dilute, that its concentration is on the order of, per trillion. Each liter of seawater contains, on average, about 13 billionths of a gram of gold. There is also, undissolved, gold in the sea floor. The ocean, however, is deep, meaning that gold deposits are a mile or two underwater. And once you reach the ocean floor, you'll find that gold deposits are also encased in rock that must be mined through. Not easy. Currently, there really isn't a cost-effective way to mine or extract gold from the ocean to make a profit. But, if we could extract all of the gold, there's enough of it that each person on Earth could have 9 pounds of the precious metal. Number 2. Earth has its own magnetic field. Because the core of the Earth is made up of nickel and iron, they can create magnetic field. When you combine the Earth's core and its rapid rotation process, it creates a strong magnetic field. The north and south magnetic poles wander over time. The north magnetic pole moved some 1100 km that is 684 miles during the 20th century. The strength of Earth's magnetic field varies as well. It has been decreasing slightly ever since around 1850. It is this magnetic field which protects our planet from the solar winds. Number 1. Mount Everest is not the tallest mountain on Earth. Sure, Mount Everest has the highest peak on the Earth. But, if you measure it from base to summit, it's actually the world's second tallest mountain. First place goes to Mauna Kea. A one million year old, dormant volcano in Hawaii. Its peak is only 13,802 feet above sea level. Because the bulk of the mountain is underwater. From base to summit, it's 33,500 feet tall. Making one a key, almost one mile taller than Mount Everest.